Chris Kent. Uh, that's me. That's my picture. That's my Twitter tweets and all that stuff. All right, let's take a look at what we're talking about today. So, I want to talk about the column formatting design mode. We talk a lot about JSON and all the fantastic and cool stuff you can do with that. Uh, but right now, there is some nice little wizards that are directly in the UI. If you guys haven't seen these, uh, these are a great place to start. Um, they're also a great place to learn uh, what's being done behind the scenes, and you can customize from there. So you get these kind of options for date time columns, choice columns, and yes, no columns, including the calculated version. So if you've set your calculated columns to be of a type of date time or of a Boolean yes, no, these will show up as well and work for you. So what happens is when you choose these, you choose that format column. We'll take a look at that. You get this edit template button, and when you click that, they all pretty much work the same way. You can pick a, one of these pre-selected classes here uh, for colors. And you can apply those based on certain values, and there's some cool options there. And the nice thing is because of the opacity that's a part of these, they work very well in the dark theme. Uh, so you don't have to do any kind of adjustments there. They're just going to work. They are not um, tied to your theme colors, however. So if you want to tie them to your theme colors, that's a whole different discussion, which we can talk about here. And at any time, you can switch it back to JSON, including all the changes you made in the wizard. So here's the predefined classes we've had for quite a while. Uh, if you guys have seen these, so we got all the severity classes, which really just set a background color. I've right, got the data bars, which creates that nice little line at the top, and that is theme specific. And then you've got these other ones here. And as always, I highly recommend using the UI fabric color and typography classes to match the theme. So again, if you're wanting to use some of these, you can use these to kind of set up so a design mode, and then you can swap out those classes with some of these theme classes, which we'll take a look at. And last thing to note, really helpful naming conventions behind the scenes, is all of these colors are actually classes themselves. So they have really catchy names like sp-css-backgroundcolor-neutral background 50. So everyone's going to remember that, right? Uh, and you'll notice that the blue background does not follow the same naming convention. So extra awesome there. But at any time, you guys can use these. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, here we go. Back over. Oh, no. I can't see my tabs. There we go. Okay. So we're over here on our Warrior Horses site. All right. We want to just do some quick customizations to our new uh, uh, asset transcripts. All right. So come over here. We can do things on the dates. So we say the recorded date. If we come here to format this column, you know, we don't get that same box we get on the others. We can always get to it by hitting advanced mode, and we can paste our JSON here, and we can take from any of those samples over here. But instead, I'm going to go back to design mode. So all I do is I hit edit template, and notice I immediately get these fancy colors behind the scenes, right, and they're all based off of today, uh, which won't surprise you. That's the at now magic string behind the scenes. Right? I could choose to change that to you know, certain colors. It's pretty easy to customize all this however I need to. Right, and I can take a look here. I can also switch this so instead of today, I can put a specific date. All right, so if I want to say, you know, which one tomorrow, right? Uh, we can do that, and I can switch all these around. So I, there's some real power to this. All right, and at any time, I can say advanced mode. All right, and you can see what's been generated for us. So it's basically a giant switch statement, uh, but it's using the old uh, abstract syntax tree. Uh, so we've got the operator and the operands. Right. You may not have known that you can use the colon instead of the question mark. They're both the equivalent. But you come down here, and you can start to see where they're using these classes, like right here, SP, CSS, background color, neutral background 30. Again, very classy. But if I wanted to switch that out, right, so I wanted to go to SP field, dash, severity, dash, dash, severe, I don't know, warning. That sounds right. Let's preview that. It's not right, so we'll just go warning. Boom. Yeah, there we go. So the idea here is you know, could easily swap it out to those colors if I wanted. Right? If I wanted to come in here instead, I wanted to say MS BG color red dark. All right, we could do that as well. And you can start to see we can start to use those theme classes. All right, if I didn't want to use red dark, I could certainly say theme primary. And again, my nice beautiful brown and so on. All right, so you can begin to use these things for all that. You can switch back to design mode. It's going to warn me that it's going to lose all that. But then I can go back in there. Now, so that's for date times, right? But we can come over here. We also have the exact same thing for booleans, right? So let's get rid of that. Come over to compromise. Was the asset compromise? We can format this column. You can see it's the exact same kind of thing. A few less options in terms of, you know, what we could choose here. But I can use the nest, no, all that. 
Um, and then I can also do the exact same thing for choices. So if I've got my status over here, so I'll just format this column. You notice it gives me all different shades of blue. Thanks. All right, but again, I can come in here and I can switch those out as well. Now, one thing to note, let's go ahead and hit apply on that. We'll keep one, is that that will not work for your multi-choice columns, right? So it'll act like it's going to. So you format this column, you come in here, you'll notice none of these work unless they were single select. Now, if you'll go back to our demo from two weeks ago, that recording there, we showed you how to deal with multi-select choice columns, so you'll have to get a little more advanced, but the design mode's not going to work. All right. Yeah, well, good. I'm glad someone remembered it. That's good. Someone paid attention. It's very exciting. Um, and the other thing to note is, again, we've got this date. This is a calculated date. It's two days later, so it's just a calculation. Uh, but you could do the exact same thing. So it does not matter that this is a calculated value. Um, for a long time, calculated values have not been supported. In fact, they're listed as not supported still. Uh, however, there are a couple of minor limitations, but for the most part, you can reference all calculated columns. You can apply formats to all calculated columns, and even the out-of-the-box wizards apply to calculated columns. So that actually opens up a lot of possibilities to do some of those advanced formulas uh, that you may not have been able to do before. In fact, uh, we just had a sample added yesterday from April uh, that uses a calculated column specifically to to manipulate date text to get an exact format she wanted. So check that out. That's our birthday format that was just added. All right, that's all I got for today, and hopefully when we come back next time, we'll have maybe some alternating rows to show you. Okay, thanks, Kev.